basketball fans. Welcome to the Red Zone here at Hicksville High School as we're getting ready for boys basketball action. On a Friday night, the Wildcats of Miller City have made the long trip to Hicksville and they are going to be the opponents for junior varsity and varsity basketball action on this, the last night of the regular season. Last home game for the Aces. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Alongside Jim Seiler to call the play-by-play. -play. Brian Williams giving up his Friday night to help us with the camera chores. And uh, Jim, getting ready to tip this one off shortly. Let's uh, take a look at the starting lineups tonight. Starting with the visiting Wildcats. All right, right, will do. Starting number two is Ethan Barlike. He's 5'8", freshman. Number three, Silas Neese. He's 6'1", a freshman. Number 10, Aaron Schnipke, 5'8", a freshman. Number 23, Owen Toby. He's 5'11", a freshman. And number 44, Jaden Newberman. And he is a junior. Yes. Yep. Yep. He's a junior. So Six they foot are even. dominated by freshmen. Nice tip to number 23. His shot is partially blocked, but oh, oh wow. they saved it and flip it back in. And two missed a shot, and they got another and rebound one. and another rebound. And, they are and there's another rebound. And oh, finally, the ace is finally out of there. Yes. Wow. Holy smoke. There's a steal. And anybody watching this has to remember that. This team is from Putnam County, and they will be rather physical, yep. I'm sure. They're renowned for their physical style of play. Early foul, and uh, that's going to uh, send uh, number 23, Owen Toby, to the line. No score here early on, junior varsity game. Toby in and out. Still no score. Uh, starting for the Aces, number two, J.R. Mendoza. Number four, Maverick Keysbury. Number five, Justin West. Number 10 is Tatum Sheets. And number 11, Braden Slattery. That one's good. So it's one to nothing, Miller City. Keysbury with the ball up the floor, and he is being hounded. Hounded. And he falls and down. And loses the ball. Picked up by number three, Nice. And again, Miller City misses an easy layup underneath. And there's going to be a quick timeout to uh, get Got the Aces get organized uh, in here. year here. I don't think they, I think they were kind of caught by surprise by the, shall we say, the speed and intensity mm -hmm. of the Miller City squad. Yeah, they're, they're quick. Not taking any prisoners tonight. Again, we want to thank you for joining us uh, for our coverage here this evening. First of two live streams, we'll have the varsity game coming up after this one wraps up. It's a full one minute timeout of the first one called by the Aces, by the way. And uh, they still haven't put who that foul was, I believe that was gonna be on number 11. I think that's up on the uh, board, Slattery. Yeah. Picks up the uh, personal foul. So get y'all up to date on that. And this is, like I said, this is the last uh, regular season basketball. Our broadcast starting tomorrow, tournament play. And we'll fill you in a little bit more about that when we get to halftime. This kind of unique situation. Get a get a buy in the first round. Yeah, like I said, we'll, we got you know got a COVID buy. Yeah. Oh Hicksville we inbound the ball. Slattery bringing it to Keysbury. This slattery. Back to Keysbury. Across yeah. stolen. Didn't even get it across the timeline. Number two. Yeah. Barlage or Barlage, Barlage, whatever it is. I think it's Barlage. I think number five with the foul. Yeah, West. West. That's team foul number two on the Aces. Into the game comes Taylor, David Taylor, and Keysbury will sit down. Yeah, that was a common foul, so it'll be out of bounds to the Wildcats on the baseline. Oh, at the inbound play. Another rebound and that'll another on, foul. That'll be on Mendoza, I think. I believe. Yeah. Somebody better learn to box out. And that's going to put the junior, Nuveman, Nuveman on the uh, line. Jaden Nuveman. Got 
that one, that one goes down. Gets another. A lot of kids on the roster for the JVs for Miller and City. Missed the second one, and another Miller City rebound. Nice that, pulled it in. That's the big man, Nice, six foot one. Down in the outside, Schnipke gets it down inside to number 23, and that is Toby, and he gets the two-pointer. That'll make it a four-dumping game. West gets it across the 10-second line, and the Aces get to make more than one pass. Yeah, they're going to have so to Mendoza watch their passes. Is it to Sheets? Sheets to Slattery. Oh, don't duck, grab the ball. Nope. West. Cranks it out of bounds. <laughs> little, little bit of adrenaline there, I think. There's something there. And they're going to pull him out. So 12, West Dakota will, West yeah. comes into the game for his brother. Yeah, Dakota's Wilson. the freshman. Justin. Toby. Drives off the glass, no good. Rebound is Newberman, and... And that's going to be a foul, a travel. Yeah, it's a travel. I thought they might get Newberman for reaching in, but... <coughs> no such luck. Yep. <coughs> Ball going around Newberman. On the outside, shot for three by number three, Silas Nice. We're going to have a foul. That'll be on 44. Newberman. Got him that time. That's his first personal and team foul number one on the Wildcats. And that's going to put... Uh, and we're going to have Tatum, Tatum Sheets, Sheets at the yeah. line. Shot is up and off to the right. Second shot up and good. Oh, aces are on the board. It's 7 to 1, Miller City. Nice, cross 10 second line. Newberman set a pick and got him free. Ball comes around to the outside, went to Newberman. He gets a short shot and Newberman gets the bucket. Three points for him. Makes it nine to one Wildcats. Mendoza bringing the ball up. And traveled. Yep. He has that way of almost carrying the ball with that high dribble that he does. So and then he's, he doesn't plant his lead foot yep. and drags it. So every it now back. and then, yep, he'll get the he'll get the whistle for carrying the ball or traveling. Oh, uh, Miller said he'd inbound it. Nice gets it into Barlog. Barlog over to Nice. Nice down low, it goes to Toby, back out to Barlock, back to Nice from three, no good, rebound. And that'll be a Fouls on foul. number 44 again with a push, Newberman. Two quick wins on Newberman and two team fouls now and a bunch of new players coming Have in. Have a line change. Yeah, number 11 is Ellerbrock. And we'll see who else is 30 is Connor Hill, her Miller. Yeah. 32 is Andon Rui. And two and three are still out there. So. Yes. Taylor into the lane, loses the ball, and on the floor. Yeah, Keysbury, kick it out of there. Sheets gets fouled. Going to be a common foul. 32. 32. Rui with the foul. Team foul number three now on the Wildcats. Keysbury inbounding it over the other side. 
to Taylor. Get around West Sheets. Taylor to West. Shot from outside, good. and it's good for three. Justin West. Makes it a nine to four game. Pass down low to Rui. Over to Nice in the lane, laid it up and good. We're gonna have another Aces timeout. Yeah, five points now for Nice after the layup. It's 11 to four, Aces down by seven, 202 to go here in our opening quarter. Junior varsity basketball action coming your way here from the red zone Friday night. The weather this week wreaking havoc uh, on the schedule in many ways. Uh, the Aces, uh, well, there was no school at Hicksville on Monday or Tuesday and two-hour delays on Wednesday and Thursday. So a short week for the, the kids in the classrooms. You probably gave them today off, didn't they? Yeah, <laughs> they probably wish. <laughs> yeah, this is the only full day of school they've had for the whole week. Wow. And again, uh, games that were scheduled to be played on Tuesday night called off. Game we were supposed to have on Wednesday called off. Yep. So we're able to at least get these two in. So we are here to entertain you. Yeah. Nice against Keysbury. Sheets down low and double dribbled. Yep. yep. So they'll turn it over with a minute 54. As we get ready to close out our first quarter of action. Justin West down. Ball two. Lane Pester, number 24. Keysbury pestering him. Ellerbrock gives it up to Nice. Nice gives it back to Ellerbrock. West going to pick his pocket, he hopes. Strong nice drive. drive. Oh. Lays it up, number 24. It's Pester. Yeah. Pester makes it a 13 to four game and a, and a steal. steal by Nice. Behind uh, the back flip and grabbed and pulled in by Keysbury. He's gonna be harassed all the way up the floor. Yeah, he gets in that position where you can't do anything but get caught. Yep, timeout. So now Coach Boo is gonna be hobbled. Yeah. He's got three timeouts well, used. He's had to burn two in this first quarter. That's the third one. Yeah, you're right, you're right, that is three. So only two timeouts remaining for the Aces for the remainder of the game. Does not bode well. No. Continuity is not there. <laughs> so I guess this is uh, maybe kind of a good warm up to get ready to Head off into tournament action. Oh, it'll be it'll be play a rough and tumble game. Yeah, it'll then, make a, a tournament game easy pickings. Yeah, uh, because of the bruising they're going to get. Yeah, and, and like I said, like I said, this could be a rough and tumble one, and it might be helpful because then the Aces' first tournament game is against uh, an opponent they have faced previously. Right. Right. And as you know, and you've seen it before, tournament officiating is a little, different. a little bit controlled. 22 with the personal, Zach Gerton. That's team foul number four now for the Wildcats. Gets it to West, Justin. Wide arc and gets it across the timeline. His brother. 40 seconds remaining in the quarter. Sheets with the ball. Sheets over to Justin West. Pick out on top to Smith. Smith to Justin. 24 seconds. Justin in the lane, puts up a runner. It's off the glass, no good. Dominic. Wow. Should be Dakota, I mean, Dakota. grabs the rebound. He came out of there. And yeah. The Miller City player who had a hold of the ball let go of it. Sheets from 15. No good. Ball's loose on the floor. Put it up. Oh. Oh. 
He did. And the score at the end of the first quarter of play in this JV game is Miller City 13 and Hicksville 4. So we'll take our first break of the evening between quarters, and we'll use that time to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters making our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television. That, of course, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. We want to thank them so very much. They have been with us for the entirety of the basketball season, underwriting all of our aces Hoops coverage, boys and girls from the junior high all the way through the varsity level. We want to thank them so very much. And uh, again, a big thank you because they're also going to make sure that we are able to follow the Aces, boys and girls, as far as they go, and as far as we're able to on the tournament trail. We want to thank them for that so very much as well. Remember, anytime you see Aces basketball action on Hicksville Community Television, they're the ones that help make it possible. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Something I heard uh, the other day at a, I went to a baseball umpires meeting for the state and at all of these games now, they have a COVID person here. Yeah. And that COVID person will write you up. And not as a personal thing. No, but they will write up the school. For the school, yeah. And it could cost a team a game. Yeah. It's a pretty penny. Yep. So it, everybody should follow the rules because the rules are what that person is here to enforce. Yep. So, Justin West had the ball passed inside and tended her sheets, and it was knocked out of bounds by Miller City. Yeah. I was just thinking about that when I pulled yeah. my mask no, down. Yeah. If, you are, if you are not a player, if you are not an official, and you are not someone actively broadcasting, you have to have a mask on. Right. Smith with the shot put up, and it's rebounded. And we're going to have a travel yep. on Bar Lodge. Slattery getting ready to check back in for the Aces. He'll spell Dakota West. And I see Pester back out on the floor for Miller City along with Toby. And also out there, Gurton, number 22. Step on the line. Going to Miller City. Not happy about it either. That's what they put those lines there for, yeah. and not for you to step on them, but to get away from them. Because this team will pin you against the sideline if you give them an opportunity. And there isn't one of them that's slow. Yeah. Oh, nice job. Catch it. Oops. <laughs> Don't dribble it off your foot. Get it up the floor. Slattery down to Taylor, and we just traveled. traveled. Yep. He caught it and thought he was going to pass it, and there was nobody there. Mm -hmm. So he ate it. So 5.03 left to go in the first half, and Wildcats will get the ball back. Barlage. Inbounds it. Pester with the ball. Slatterio bothering him. Inside it goes. Oh. Toby. And he was fouled. And was going to shoot a pair. Yeah, I think they're going to tag that one on sheets. 22. Smith got Smith. it. Oh, okay. So that'll put Toby at the line. Team up by nine, make it 10. 14 to four, one more coming. Oh my goodness. Timeout number four. Ouch. Yeah, the, the guy that was explaining it, he, he's going around to these tournament games and he's the, uh, COVID inspector mm -hmm. and he calls the school the day before and tells him who he is and 
what they're expected to do. Well, he was telling that he went to Jackson Center, and he had called him and everything, and that night everything was perfect. Yeah. Everybody, even the guys on the bench, kept their masks pulled up and all this. And he says the next week he had Jackson Center playing somewhere else, and he got there. And not a one of them, not a soul had a mask on, and he had called ahead. And the home AD hadn't informed anybody. <laughs> and so he got really ticked about it, and he went down during the first quarter and told them, you guys have to get these masks on, and you have to use these because if you don't, it's my responsibility to write you up. Mm -hmm. So, okay, okay. <laughs> and, and so... He went back up and sat in the crowd. And at the end of the quarter, nobody still had a mask on. So he headed back down, and the AD caught up with him. He says, just, just relax. One quarter, the kids forgot to bring their mask from the locker room. <laughs> oh, Toby's second shot is missed. No good, but he grabs his own rebound. Pass down low oh. and bounce pass inside. And, oh, man. 24 is That's Pester. Good. Pester hits his second bucket and makes it a 16 to 4 game. Jackets, or Jackets, the Aces now find themselves down by a dozen. And don't pick up the ball. Turn up the floor, get on in there. There's Smith with it. Over to Slattery, hits him on the knee. Shot put up, bounce, bounce, bounce. Uh, That's go. good. Slattery with two points. Braden Slattery. Breaks a long scoring drought and makes it 16 to 6. Barlage drives to the hoop oh, and, it. and lays it in. His first basket. 18 to 6 now, Miller City. With just under three minutes, or under four minutes, excuse me, to go before half time. Knocked out of bounds by number 30. That's Connor Hermiller. Aces will get the ball side court. Another line change for Miller City. Number 10, got, Stipke back in the game. So is number 44, yeah. Newberman. And Nice is back out there too. Number 22, Zach Gerton is on the floor. And number said, And also uh, Aiden Pollock in for the Aces. Yep. Shot put up and blocked by Schnipke. That'll be a And there will be a whistle. Schnipke gets number one. That's going to send Mendoza to the line to shoot two. Team foul number five on the Wildcats. And all but one of them has been a shooting foul. First one's no good. Mendoza will get one more. Score remains 18 to six. Second shot is, is good. good. 18 to seven now. Here come the Wildcats. Schnipp gave with the ball out of the point. Mendoza steals the ball and heads for the hoop. Bounce pass to ah. Keysbury, and it's off the glass and no good. That'll be on number two, Mendoza, his second. And that's team foul number five for the Aces. Miller City trying to get it in. And Schnipke got loose to Nice. Nice heading up the floor. Slattery stops him. Toby is to Schnipke. I got the Nice for three. Bingo. Oh. Eight points for Nice. 21 to seven. 14 point deficit now for the Aces as we get halfway through this second quarter. Oh, oh. God. And uh, if anything can go wrong, it's going to. Yeah. He wasn't across the 10 second line yet. Well, I think they're going to say as he was trying to balance himself on the sideline over there, the ball actually touched the floor uh, in the red paint. Hmm. So it was out of bounds. Yes. Nipke gives it to Newberman. 
wants to do a jump Oh, ball. we got another foul. Yeah. 44, Newberman. That's, that's his, his third. third. Got that one. Connor Hermiller coming into the game for Newberman. Team foul number six now for Miller City. So the next foul, the Wildcats commit against the Aces will put Hicksville into the bonus, and they'll shoot free throws. Slattery down to Pollock. Back to Slattery. Works to the lane. Ball is knocked loose. Picked back up by West. He's very spins. Pollock has it. Slattery's open. Puts up the three. It's no good. Mm, Snipke with the rebound. Denise. This Nice kid's going to be an athlete. Yep. He can do it's it. Only a, lot. a freshman will be, we'll be seeing Miller. him again. Her Miller with the hoop. Yeah, you got four freshmen out there. He's buried. Mendoza in the lane puts up a flyer. Deflected. Long block to Keysbury. He puts up a shot and Hermiller's going to foul Pollock. Pollock yeah. Number 30. And that puts the Aces into the bonus for the remaining one minute and 38 seconds of this first half. Aiden Pollock at the line. In and out. And this is the first one. So two shot foul, so not a one and one. So he will get a second shot. And in Rui into the game for Miller City, as is number 11, Sam Ellerbrock. And he got the second one to fall. Makes it 23 to 8. Toby down the floor against Denise in the corner. Back out on top. Ellerbrock with it. Bounce pass knocked away by Mendoza and Slattery picks it up. Is it to Keysbury? Keysbury with Ellerbrock on him. West makes a move, comes back. Mendoza puts up the runner. It's no good, and we're going to have another two shot foul. Number 11. That's Ellerbrock. Ellerbrock's first. Team foul number eight. Mendoza's free throw is good. Gets one more. Gets that. Yep, and it's no good. It He's over the line. Yep. So that'll keep it at 23, let me say 23 to nine. Ball up the floor to Herr Miller, back to Nice. Bounce pass through the lane and- Out of bounds. Toby had it last. Yeah. But must have been Hicksville yeah. knocked it loose. You got, got punched out of there by one of the Aces players. Hellerbrock to inbound it. Down low to Herr Miller. Pollock steals Pollock it away. Yanked it out of there. Under a minute to go. Up the floor, gives it to Keysbury. Keysbury spins, gives it to West. West steps up on the top to Slattery. Slattery looking cross court to Keysbury. Keysbury to Slattery. Pollock. Justin West in the lane. Is it back to Mendoza from three? It's going to be no good. And rebound pulled out of there by Hellerbrock. Hellerbrock. Yeah. Down to Toby off the glass. And good. good. Six points for Toby. 14 seconds. Slattery. Would like to have taken a shot. <laughs> Gotta pull the trigger, boys. Nope. Too late. Took too long. 
And at the end of the first half of play, this JV game with Miller City 25 and the Aces 9. All right, well, that's the first uh, two quarters in the books. And again, halftime, Wildcats of Miller City leading the Aces 25 to 9. We're at halftime. We'll uh, take a break, but we invite you to stick around because uh, Jim and I will be back. We'll have all the exciting second half play-by-play -play coming your way right here on Hicks TV. to the red zone we got about a minute to go before we tip it off and Jim and I back with you and glad to have you with us if you're just joining us at halftime it's the Miller City Wildcats leading the Aces 25 to 9 and uh, I can run down the final the unofficial scoring for the Aces real quick uh, their leading scorer was Justin West who had a three-pointer and then a bucket and two for Braden Slattery two free throws and two points for a J.R. Mendoza then a free throw in one point for Tatum Sheets and a free throw in one point for Aiden Pollock, and that's their nine points, Jim. Okay, for uh, Miller City, it's Ethan Barlodge. He had a basket for two. Silas Neese had two trays and a basket for eight, and it goes on down. There's so many players here. Yeah, I have Owen Toby, he had two buckets and two free throws for six. Lane Pester, two baskets for four. Connor Hermiller, a basket for two and Jaden Newberman, a basket and a free throw for three, and that's their 25. All right. And Miller City gets the ball. Start third quarter. We're underway, and again, the play-by-play, -play, Jim Seiler. Yes, and Nice has the ball, gets it to Barlock down low. Back out to Nice for three. Bingo. And now Nice has 11. And it's 28 to nine. Ace is down by 19. Yeah, remember that kid's only a freshman. Yeah. You got a dead eye. Into the lane. Sheets puts it up and there's a foul. Two shots coming up. 24. That'll be the first one on Pester. But well, one thing about having 14 guys on your JB roster, almost all of them just get one foul. Right. They spread it around pretty good. Sheets hits the first one. Gets another. 28 to 10. Gets them both. That's a cool shot. He just flips the wrist. He's three for four from the free throw line. Up the floor comes Pester. Pester. Stands up on top on the point. Looking around, Mendoza slaps it away, gives it to West. West. And West is going to get called for we don't know. Oh. Well, they're going to say it was fouled. Yeah. 23. Yep. So that'll be Toby. Toby getting his first personal. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Miller City Wildcats with one foul each. And now Sheets gets fouled on the inbounds. And that'll be number a two. two it's on Barlog. Yep. His first. 11. 28 to 11, excuse me. Sheets gets that one. That makes him the leading scorer for the Aces tonight with four. And, and five. five. Five for six from the line. 28 13, still a 15 point deficit. West oh, makes the West. steal. Quick hands. West in the lane. Gets down low to Sheets. It's oh, good. Nice. Seven points for Sheets. Pass across the lane to Newberman, and his lane's good. Five points for him. Thirty to fifteen now. West headed for the lane. Ball gets kicked out. Sheets in the lane put up a bullet to the backboard. Pass down to Newberman and lays it Two up more. and good. Yeah. 
Seven points for Newberman. 32 to 15, Wildcats. Slattery from three, no. Chase down, and Toby. Last touched by, so Aces will hang on to it. It's gonna be a tough, tough half for Coach Dave Blue. He only has one timeout remaining. He burned four in the first half. Yes, he did. So he'll need to save it for when Sheets it really counts. in the lane, puts up another oh. one, it's good. Sheets is feeling it. Yeah, nine. Yeah, the Aces are looking a little livelier here in this second half. Maybe Coach Blue won't have to use that last time out. 23 to 17. Yeah. And they've actually outscored Miller City 8 to 7 so far. And GB head coach Andy Hermiller is <laughs> vocalizing. 32 17 our score. First line was, are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> That's their first time out. He was pretty pleased with the way they were playing in that first half, but. Aces so far holding their own here in this third nobody, quarter. Nobody answered that question either. Yeah. So, Nice will inbound. We'll sit up the floor, uh, and gonna West, West is going to get the foul. Number five. That's Justin's Justin. second. And team foul number one for the Aces in this second half. Pass inbound to Pester. Oh man, Newerman killed him. That'll be a two shot foul. That was like a blindside block out right. there. I'm going to give that one to Taylor. That'll be his first personal team foul number two. And that's going to put uh, Pester at the line to shoot a couple. His team up 32 to 17. Gets that one. Second is good. Pastor now has six points. Keysbury across the line over to Taylor. Taylor into lane. Oh. The ball's playing like a greased pig. Taylor gets it out the of ball there. to Keysbury. Taylor for three, two. A long two. Two points for David Taylor. 34-19 now. Miller City's still in the lead. Nice out front. And West going to pick up the foul. Yep, that'll be his third. Common foul. Team foul number three on the Aces. Mendoza will put West on the bench for a bit. Pastor with it outside. We're going to have a, oh, blue 23 with the hold. Toby. That's his second. And team foul number four on the Wildcats. Oh, and it's out in front and on the run. Newverman, no good, but he was fouled. Number 10, Sheets picks up the personal. His first one, no, no good. good.
2.51 to go here in our third quarter. And again, it's Jaden Newberman on the line, his second of two shots. That's good. Her Miller into the game for the Wildcats. Newberman will sit down. Yep. Here come the Aces, trailing 35 to 19. Slattery up on top over to Mendoza. And Taylor, Taylor in the lane with a runner. It's up no good. Taylor gets the rebound, kicks it out to Slattery. Drives in the lane, puts up the shot. It's no good. And there we go. What is that? Sheets, Sheets again. Sheets is in double digits. 11. Nepgay with the ball. Wow. Ooh. That was from downtown. Koenig. Brent Koenig. Is it Koenig that got that shot? Yep. Okay. Number 12. We have a jump ball. Oh, and that should go to the aces. Lincoln. Yoder into the game for the Aces. Keysbury way out to Slatter. Back down on the left wing. Keysbury over to Mendoza. Back to Keysbury. Mendoza from three, no good. Slattery with a rebound out to Mendoza. Shots and rolls across, there. no good. It'll be on 10. 11. 11. Ellerbrock. Yep, Ellerbrock. Two on Ellerbrock. Girton comes out. Number 30, 32 is in. Yep. Rui. Keysbury, the Slattery, over to Yoder. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Coach Blue verbalizing that complaint. Yeah. Schnipke up the floor. In the lane. Right. Yoder's having trouble staying yeah. on his feet. Shot from outside is no good. It was by Ellerbrock. Rebound came off to Slattery. She's up the floor with it. Across to Keysbury. Down low. Puts up a runner. Nope. It's no good. Sheets oh, nice. grabs the rebound. No good. And it's off to Ellerbrock. Under half a minute to go here. 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Mendoza. Ah, two shot the foul, foul. Couldn't get the shot to drop. 17.1 seconds. 10. Schnipke. That'll be his second. That's team foul number six on the Wildcats. And Mendoza at the line to shoot two. One time. Yeah, it makes it. 38 to 22. Still a 16 point lead. And the second is good. So back to a 15 point differential. Four points for Mendoza. Her Miller. There's a cross court. Schnipke puts up the shot and it goes. It. And he'll go to the line with number six four. tenths of a second. He's very with the foul. 
Keysbury's first. Free throw is no good. I'm about 12 she, feet short. Sheets knew where it went. <laughs> and at the end of the third quarter of play, it's Wildcats 40, Aces 23. Well, we'll take another break here before we head into the fourth and final quarter of this junior varsity game to say a big thank you one more time to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Hey, remember, if you're in the market for a vehicle, whether you want one that is brand new or pre-owned, be it a car, truck, van, or SUV, stop by, check out the great selection they have on the lots at the Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships, or you can check out the entire dealer inventory online anytime at jimschmidtauto.com. See something you're interested in? Let the folks at Jim Schmidt know. They will make arrangements for you to be able to see that car safely and securely. It's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Want to thank them so very much for being our basketball broadcast underwriters here on Hicksville Community Television. Oh, well, Miller City will get the ball to start the fourth quarter. Ella Brock with it. Schnipke. Ooh. Back to Schnipke. <laughs> okay. Uh, that might be Yoder. Yep. Looked like it. Yep. First personal for Lincoln Yoder. Team foul number six for the Aces. Schnipke at the line. Dakota West will check in and give Slattery a breather. And that one falls. Three points for Aaron Schnipke. Sheets. Oh. Pass grabbed right out of the air. No. Spun in and out, no yeah. good. Went round and round. Keys very up the floor with the ball. To West, Dakota's holding it. Gives it to Mendoza. And That'll there it goes. The, That'll be the final timeout of the game for the Aces with 5.16 left in regulation. <laughs> The East is trailing 41 to 23. Both teams have committed six fouls in the second half, so after this, everybody will start shooting free throws. This will be a full one minute timeout. Again, when we wrap this one up, Jim and I will have a quick uh, post game. We'll fill you in on unofficial scoring and we'll uh, wrap up this live stream. We'll take a bit of a break and uh, we'll give you a time check before we do that. And then uh, we'll be back with you with our second live stream of the night to bring you varsity action here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. So, or of course, if you're watching this later on Mediacom channel 12, just check the program guide, but we'll have both games for you. Keys buried to inbound it. And Smith. Smith hadn't been on the floor much tonight. Mendoza in the lane. And that'll be on 12, I think. That's on 11. 11? Okay. Three on Ellerbrock then. Yep. <laughs> That's number seven. <coughs> Puts the aces in the bonus. Hits the first one. I think this was a two-shot foul anyway, but yes. good practice hitting that first free throw, no matter what. Got both of them. Gives him six points all at the line. 
Now we're brought. Cross court goes to Koenig. Over to Hermiller. To Koenig. Now to Ellerbrot. Her Miller. Eller brought. And the ball is stolen. Hughesbury. Johnny on the spot for that one. To Sheets. Gets it to Smith. And we're going to have a foul on the floor. 32. Rui. Yep. Two freshmen back in the game. Starters. Barlock and the niece. Forty-one twenty-five. Our score, Smith at the line. Got Ooh. it. First point of the night for Chris Smith. Makes it 41 to 26. Two. Okay. Another city moved the ball on the outside. Snip key from the corner. It's no good. Keysbury to rebound. Keysbury. Turn, gives to Mendoza. Mendoza back to Keysbury. Spins, puts up a flyer. Rebound pulled out of there by Nice. And a bad pass by Nice. Right into the red basket of one of the Aces defenders. Dakota West. Across to Mendoza from three. Oh. That was a quick release. Gives him nine points. 41-30 as the Aces oh, cut nice the lead to 11. Pass. And back nice. to 13. Nice hits the bucket. Now it's 43-30. to 30. 13 3 points. Left 13 in the game. 13 for Nice. West is it up. Sheets to Mendoza. Puts up another flyer. Mendo or Sheets with the rebound. And he She's is going to be fouled. Number 11. Ellerbrock's fourth. And team foul number nine. So Ace has one away from being in the double bonus for the remainder of the game. Got the aces with 11 points from the free throw line in the second half, Jim. Wow. With one more coming. Got it. Right. 43-32, back to an 11 point lead for the Mavericks. Snip the Wildcats, excuse me. The Mavericks. Yeah. I'm He's thinking, out there. I'm Maverick Eastbury. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. That was a two. Sheets. Swing put up. Hair Miller to rebound. Is it up? Pester on the floor with it. Gee, money. Frost. Ooh. Number 12 again. Koenig. A couple of trays for him. Sheets to Mendoza. Ball knocked away. Chris Smith with it. Back out. Dakota West. Justin for three. It's no good. Rebound grabbed by number 12. Koenig is it to Schnipke. Down low, Her Miller bucket. Up and good. Four points for Her Miller. And that makes it 50 to 32. And just like that, the lead goes from 11 to 18. And 
traveled. Slattery will come in for Dakota West. And we'll have another. Ethan Burgey, number 20, hasn't been in the game. He is now. He's the sophomore. Let's see, number six, 21, three. Grant Paltry. Palte. Palte, yeah. And number 22, Zach Girton. Looks like they have all played now. Yeah. Getting them all in the game. Pester out front. Is it up? Rui tries to go baseline, gets it back out front to Pester for three. It's up, hits uh, superstructure. Cable. Yeah. That'll be a turnover. It goes into the support arms. And those will come game. out. With 114 remaining, Slattery. Smith. Smith shot and rebound, pulled off by number 22, Girton. Girton. <laughs> Pester. Under a minute. Oh, Whoop. and inadvertently passed it out of bounds. Palti wasn't paying attention and didn't he was see heading the, the other way. Yeah, didn't see the ball coming his way. Turned his head just a second too soon. Sheets and West out of the game now. Yoder back out on the floor along with Pollock. Smith drives to the lane, gives it to Dave Taylor, nice. and he gets a two. Four points for David. 50 to 34 now. Pester looking inside, gets it back to him, gives it up to Paul Day. Right out to Pester. With eight seconds. Oh my goodness. A three. <laughs> he, he was surprised himself. <laughs> Burgai. Ethan Burgai hits a three at the horn. 53 34 is the final score. So let's do some quick tabulations, tabulations. here. Tabulation. Get you some unofficial scores. All right, I think I've got the aces, so I'll pass those along. Uh, leading scorer for Hicksville tonight, and the only ace in double figures was number 10, Tatum Sheets. He finished off with. Uh, he only had one free throw in the first half, but in the second half, he added six more free throws and three buckets to finish with 13 points tonight. Just missing double figures was J.R. Mendoza. J.R. had a total of six free throws and a three-pointer for nine points this evening. Four points tonight for Dave Taylor off of a couple of field goals. And then it was uh, Justin West with a three-pointer for three. Uh, Braden Slattery with a bucket for two. Also, Chris Smith with two free throws for two points, and Aiden Pollock with a lone free throw to give him one. For the Miller City Wildcats, we have Ethan Barlobs had one basket for two. Uh, Aaron Schnipke had a basket and free throw for three. Uh, Ethan Bergai had a tray for three. And let's see, Connor Hermiller had two buckets for four. Lane Pester had two baskets, two free throws, as did Owen Toby for a total of six. Brent Koenig had two trays for six. And down here, Jaden Newberman had three baskets, two free throws for eight. And leading them in scoring, freshman Silas Neese. Really nice looking basketball yes, player. Indeed. And he had three trays and three baskets for a total of 15 points. Their total of 53. So there you have it. 
53 to 34, the JV game goes to the Miller City Wildcats here this evening. And we're going to wrap up this live stream, but uh, we're going to be back with you probably in about uh, 10, uh, 10, 12 minutes from right now as we'll have a live stream coverage coming away for the varsity game. Until then, we want to say a big thank you once again to the Hicksville Athletic Department, Mr. Obermeyer and Hawk, giving us the space, allowing us to live stream the action tonight. Thanks also to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships for underwriting our coverage this evening. And thanks to you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the Junior Varsity Basketball action here tonight. With that, we'll wrap it up one final time. Final score tonight of the JV game. It's Miller City 53 and the Aces 34. For Jim Seiler calling the play-by-play -play and Brian Williams running the iPad camera. I'm Bill Murphy for Hicksville Community Television wishing you a good night and good sports.